I'm so sorry I turned my back on you earlier. When that creature came to me during the night, I thought I was going to die. Or worse. Ashton is something I heard about in ghost stories when I was a kid. Saying it aloud in the morning, I just wanted to push that out of my mind. Can you forgive me? I, given that she just saved my life, yeah, I think I can forgive her. You don't need to ask that. You saved my life last night. But I didn't stand by you earlier. What we do next matters the most. We need to go through all of what we know about that thing. Wendigo or Whitico or whatever they call it. There's nothing human in it. I know. I saw it last night in the crevasse. Why is it here? Hmm. Good question. It seems to have come about because of the storm. Could be because of Owl. And the Windigo likes to do what? Possess people? Because it wants to eat. I don't know. I don't know. What activated it? Hmm. I honestly have no idea. Any one of these options just any one of these options is just guessing. I'm gonna say because of the storm. The storm has lured it here. I'm not sure if that alone explains it. There have been powerful storms before. True. It all started when Al came back with the bones. Still, the ion storm has to have something to do with it. The myths did say something about trying to converse with the Aurorai spirits, right? Maybe it's a portal? I think it's like a veil or portal. The spirit seems to be trapped behind it, and is somehow using it to invade our dreams. Maybe it's trying to get us to do something for it, because it can't interact physically here. You're right. It's trying to get a hold on us. I think its call affected the polar bears first. They gathered near the crevasse the night Al came back. Whatever it's trying to do, sooner or later it will consume us. If it really came from the crevasse, what exactly did you see down there? I don't know if it was a burial ground. I found lots of bones. That doesn't mean that they were buried there, though. Um, well, it was definitely a ritual chamber. There were traces of ancient rituals. They involved cannibalism and violence. According to the myth, the Wendigo is drawn to them. Then it came and wiped out the whole tribe. You must be right. What do you think Al did down there to unleash it? Is it reversible? Hmm. <laughs> Let's flee. Fuck this, I'm out of here. Destroy the bones? Hell no. Well, I'm guessing it's just because he took them. Let's return them. I could try to return the bones and the hide back to where they came from. Without the car? What if it comes when you're out there? You're right. It's not a good idea. I guess destroy them? That doesn't seem like a good idea. That sounds like it would just piss it off the more. I think the spirit is bound to the bones somehow. I'll destroy them. And the hide as well. Can you do it right away? The only way is to disintegrate them. I'll go and get everything I need for that. We'll find out soon if it works. Yeah. Okay, so the Wendigo likes to possess things, right? Let me just check. Possessed by the Wendigo. Yeah, the Wendigo. So maybe whoever's bones these belong to, maybe they were possessed by the Wendigo, and the Wendigo is trapped in its body for some reason. And now that I brought the bones here, it, I don't know, it, like it's, it wants to be set free. Or maybe because it's in the bones, it's impotent and it can't do anything. Uh, I don't know. All right, the bones must be burned. 
Tully and Al are gone, they must have left something behind, they could tell what happened. Alright, let's go search around. And how would I burn it? What could I have that could burn? I don't know, let's search around first. Drying closet. Don't think that's gonna get too hot. <laughs> Alright. Tully's tent. Something bad's happened here. Nope, nope, nope. Oh yeah, gasoline. Holy shit, yeah. That would burn it pretty good. Tools. Don't need any of them right now. Anyone home? It's locked. Oh, but wait, I have the master key, right? Bingo! Alright, what have you got in here, Al? Helicopter. That's a plastic model of a Boeing CH-47 Chinook. Painting doesn't seem to be Al's forte. <laughs> Telescope. Celestial phenomena interest him. Hair products. I have no idea what, what need Al has for shaping foam. Good point, he's bald. Or balding. Wall shelf. I guess that's Al's light reading section. I didn't know he's into Russian classics. Crumpled paper. Okay. It's a minus four degrees Fahrenheit outside. Globe. Every true scholar has one. <laughs> books and binders. Some reference books and binders full of what looks like measurement data. photos. I think that's his deceased wife. The other photo looks like the original Polaris station. Alright, let's read this note. I unleashed it, and I am to blame. Maybe I'll draw it out with me. Don't try to follow. Al. Oh, I guess he's going there. Huh. Or maybe he's just trying to get it away from here by going somewhere else? Thinking it's drawn to him because he's the one that disturbed it? I don't know. Alright. No answer from the spare room. Surprise. He's watching a nature documentary about butterflies. Talk to I me. I want to talk to you about something. What? Al's note. I found a note that Al left. I don't think he's alive anymore. So he was just as messed up as Tully. Me and Dad knew him well. I thought he was tougher than that. Wonderful. You're such a charming chap. Did you have any nightmares last night? No, I don't remember having any dreams at all. I'm not sensitive to any of that. Knutson, before you go, what do you think that thing is? I don't know. Does it want to kill us or what? Maybe. Or we could just be in its way. If you have any suggestions, feel free to contribute. I will, Knutson. Maybe he just wants to be left go. Uh, let go. But it sure has a violent and disturbing way about telling us that message. Artificial bomb tree. Whoever picked the tiki theme in here went seriously overboard. No kidding. Alright, nothing new. The bones must be burned. I have to try to find out why Tolly left. Okay, Tolly. So what about Tolly? Well, it stays in his tent, but... There didn't seem to be anything in it. Right? Yeah, there's nothing in this tent. Maybe something outside? Something down here? Nope. Well, I'm down here. I might as well try this. Nope. I'm guessing I'm going to have to do something with that anode at some point. Huh. 
Alright, let's see if he left a note out here. Oh, shit! He left a note, written in his own blood. That says, I died. Did he shoot himself? Poor bastard. I talked to him yesterday. It almost seemed like he had given up. Green never really adapted to life here. You were here the entire night. Didn't you hear a gunshot? I didn't hear anything. Nova drove the snowmobile right past his body last night. Why didn't she notice him? Keep away from her. She suffered enough. Don't pretend that you're the one protecting her. Regardless of what she may say, you're both still my responsibility. If it comes down to it, I'll use force to stop that thing. Yeah, punch the Windigo spirit in the face. That'll work. Maybe his dreams finally caught up with him. Rest in peace. <clears throat> I'd like to say a few words about Ted Crean. Ted was a douchebag. He was a douchebag when I first met him. He was a douchebag on the last day that I knew him. Okay, that's it. Bye. No, okay, I feel kind of bad. He was a douchebag, but he didn't deserve to die. Alright, time to burn it. Bones must be burned. Whoops. Oh wait, I don't even have the bones. Hold on. Wait, is it turned night? It has turned night. Alright. Uh, I should do this in a safe place, right? Let me save it. Unless I could just, like, burn it in my hands. Not possible? Okay. Uh, what about the garage? Stone putty. Still don't know what I'm supposed to do with that. No, I don't burn it in there. Oh, yeah, let's go to the garage. What can I do? I mean, like, I need an item to use it on, right? I need to put the bones in something. What am I putting them in? Like, nothing here is... could in particular really hold it safely. I would think just burning it on the concrete would be fine, but... There's no hot spot to use it there. Rusty barrel? No. Where could I burn something? Burn, burn, burn. I wanna talk- No, no, what? Nope. I guess I could ask him about Tully. I find it very odd that you didn't hear a gunshot. You're free to think whatever you please. I didn't have anything to do with it. Well, that ends that. I'm convinced. <laughs> can I burn it in the frying pan? Uh, I don't think it's big enough. Yeah, this needs to be done somewhere outside. Can I microwave the bones? Mmm. Nope. Smells like evil spirits. Where the hell am I burning this? Is there, like, a barrel outside? I don't remember there being a barrel out- Oh, wait, there is a barrel! Okay, never mind. Put in there. 
That barrel looks strangely like a stack of exceptionally thin tires. Kind of weird. Is it like corrugated barrel or something? Okay. All done. Hopefully the window isn't come up. It's not going to work, Knutson. Bones won't burn at that temperature. You need a much hotter flame. You could start a thermite fire with aluminum and oxidized metal. But you need magnesium to ignite that. Huh. For once, you're actually being helpful. Thank you. Thanks. Just get rid of them. Okay, well... I know where to go next. Lovely, lovely thermite. Now we get the sacrificial anode. A magnesium anode, it protects the other metal by corroding first. Okay, so what do I need? I need aluminum, rust, and magnesium. Alright, well, this is magnesium. Where am I going to get the other stuff? And I know it needs to be powder, right? I think it needs to be in powder form. So let's go to the garage and grind it up, maybe? Grinding machine. And I just created a pile of dust. Find metallic residue on the floor. Okay. I need aluminum. Uh, is this key made out of aluminum? Nope. Alright, what about the tools? None of the tools are aluminum? I guess they're probably steel. Where's nah rusty bucket? Oh, well, rusty bucket, yeah. I scrape it off, maybe? Yeah, here we go. Okay. So this will be magnesium and rust. Do I just like add it onto the pile? Okay. <laughs> Can I pick some up? Okay, so I still need aluminum, right? Broom, drill. Aluminum. Where would I find aluminum? Not here, not here. Laboratory? Energy drinks, that's new. Al drinks those, like he really needs more calories. <laughs> hmm. Wait a minute, don't I have cans in my room? Aluminum cans? That's an aluminum can, but I can't take it. Minus 17 degrees Fahrenheit, Jesus. No, of course she's not there. No. No, she doesn't... I don't think she had anything in her place. I don't think you're supposed to do that. Alright, something in the kitchen. Anyone have some aluminum? Leftovers, power plug. Metal structure. No. Nope. You have anything to say? Any tips? Talk. What? Nope. Inuit. Inuit harpoon? Nope. Uh, frying pan? 
Is it aluminum? Lightweight material, probably aluminum. Okay. Alright, this should be everything I need. Okay, where did it go? Is it just like in the dust? Obviously I don't want to actually combine all of them because then the reaction will start, right? Actually, I don't know how you trigger thermite. Alright, so I have the rust here, and then I guess the aluminum and the magnesium are in this pile? Okay, so where am I actually going to do the burning? Contains hides and bones. Yep. Okay. I'm confused. He picked up the rust, but he didn't pick up the other stuff, and he can't? Do I need a container? Like, how do, how do I pick it up? I mean, the rust was automatically in his inventory. Why isn't this stuff? Broom? Oh, okay. Where is he going to sweep it? Into his inventory? What? <sighs> okay. Sure, game. Whatever. I guess we light it on fire. <laughs> yeah, it burns awfully hot. Oh yeah. Okay, well, did that solve all of our problems? Somehow I doubt it. There are just molten... There are just molten remains of plastic left. No traces left of the hide or bones. Let's go get a good view of the place. It is beautiful. Alright, time to go to sleep. And let's hope no spirits come in the night and rip my face off. Let's see if she has anything to say. Are you okay? No, but I'll manage. Is there anything I can do? Not really. How did he die? He shot himself. Well, the bones are burned. I got rid of the bones. Permanently. We'll find out soon enough if that helps. Yep. Unfortunately, we can't confirm that it actually worked, but we can confirm that it doesn't work if we start dying again. Did you see anything when you came back last night? No. Wasn't there anybody awake inside? No, there wasn't. I'll be around if you need me. Wait a minute, there were more topics. Are you okay? No. How are you feeling? Well, she kind of already told me, but... How are you feeling? Tired. Trashed lab. Do you know who did this? No, but I'm guessing Tully. Yeah, probably. Al's note? I found a note that Al left. Apparently, he wandered out to the glacier last night. Al saw that thing too, didn't he? Yeah. He kept everything inside. It's so like him. Can we follow him? Nova, Al's dead, and it's gonna be dark soon. If we wander out there in the darkness... You're right. Well, to be fair, he might not actually be dead. Maybe he's just possessed. I'll be around if you need me.
Rune, wait. When you said you'd be around if I needed to talk, could you come sit in my room for a while? Do you feel any better? The others here know I grew up in poverty. I really had no one to lean on. I've always had to be strong. But now, for the first time in my life, I feel I can't. I'm exhausted, Rune. What if it returns and I'm too tired to fight it? It'll probably get the rest of us before you. I thought I was gonna die down there in that cave. I think you are anything but weak. You're the strongest of us. It's me you should be worried about. I've seen very bad things in my dreams, Nova. I did something to you. Don't believe that. That's what the creature wants you to think. So you're not afraid of what I might do? No. You should stay with me tonight. So I can keep an eye on you. Ooh. What about Alistair? There's nothing between us anymore. We briefly dated last year, but I ended it. Turns out his past traumas surpass even mine. It's not easy to compete against your own father from an early age. But not you, Rune. You are an incredibly honest person. I'm scared shitless, Nova. Yes, and still you have the integrity to face the truth. Stay with me. Well, I'm not going to say no to that. I might die tomorrow after all. Screw it. I'll stay. If you want me to. You know, if this is over tomorrow... Yes, when this is over. Oh my. I think I can hear it now. Oh shit. It's freezing in here. It didn't go away. It's here. It didn't work. It didn't work. The power's off. Everything will be fine, Nova. I'll be back soon. So the bones are destroyed, and Al went off to distract it. It's not appeased. It's not put at rest. What does it want? Or what does it need? Is it just trying to possess us, or does it need to be released somehow? Maybe I need to, like, go back to the throne room and just, like, burn the whole throne? Freezing in here. Uh, oh, the generator's um, outside. That's right. Okay. Oh yeah, I can't wait to go outside. I'm sure I'm not gonna die or anything. Let's get a look outside before I do that. All right, looking beautiful and creepy. Okay. Let's see what we've got to work with. Sure wish I had a gun. I don't think it helped me against a spirit, but it might help me against a wandering bear. That decided my face looked like a wonderful meal. Okay. What are we doing? Is that a note? Start switch, choke, lever. Generator model, blah, blah, blah. I can't really read it. Antifreeze pipe. This is the starting fluid piping. Fuse box. B2 is missing, but it does not seem to be the generator fuse. It's for the machinery inside. Why is that missing? So the machinery inside won't start. Weird. What is this? 
for gear control? I and O. How the hell does this thing work? I don't know. Start it up. Nope. Pull the choke. Put it down. Nope. 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 That's pretty much all of the combinations, isn't it? Yeah, I need to do something, obviously. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Hmm. Starting fluid piping. Can I, like, warm it up? I didn't think so. That seems kind of stupid. Alright. Well, let's follow the piping, I guess. Valve. Fuel flow control. It's closed. Oh, well, there's your problem. No fuel, no start. Bingo. Okay. Pull the clutch. That's down. Okay. And... Ooh. Good. Yes. Alright, get back to Nova. Uh oh, it's playing the game for me. I think something bad's about to happen. Yep. Alistair! The generator's running again. Oh, Stop great. shooting, it's me! You did something to her! What did you do? Do what? Do what? I found what was left of her in the corridor. The blood. Nova? What happened to her? I... I could have stopped you before, but I saw you killing her in my dreams. I hate them. The nightmares. I hate them! Tell me what's happened to Nova. No. I won't listen to your lies anymore. It all ends here. You'll freeze to death, devil. Is he locking me out? Did I really do something to her? No. That's just something that creature wants me to think. Anyway, it doesn't matter anymore. The temperature is very low. I either let Alistair shoot me, or I freeze to death. I hope she's not actually dead. I hope that's something I was just planted in his mind. Uh... Al? Stop! Al! Alistair! Nova is here! Alistair! Al is behind this! Fucking Al. Him and his goddamn sandwiches. Well, she might not be dead. I saw some blood, but she might be fine. It wasn't that much blood. She might have just been hit in the head and knocked out. Alright, I need to get inside. Snowplow. Wonder if all these bigger toys. Yep, yep, yep. This can only be operated from the inside, correct? It operates electrically, but the remote it can only be opened from the inside. Damn it. There is a hatch on the roof. But isn't it icy? Wait, do I have crampons? No, I, I don't think I do. I don't have them in my inventory and I probably don't have them on. Alright, check the roof. Icy roof. A slippery slope. Uh, I don't think I have anything that can help me. Try it anyway. Too icy to climb. Damn it. <laughs> Slowly melt all of the ice using your lighter. Nope. Ooh, crampons. Nova must have brought them from the crash site. Well, now I know what to do. Huh. 
<sighs> okay. Please tell me this thing isn't locked. The lock is frozen shut. Great. Now maybe the lighter will work. I can't heat it enough with a lighter. Damn it. So I need something with more warmth. Well... open. Oh wait, this thing dispenses fuel, yeah, but wait, I don't have a holder. Mangled cage, yep. Pull syringe. The hell is that good for? Can I suck the fuel into the syringe? Oh no, I just took it off. Alright, so now I just have a... Okay, empty syringe. What am I going to do with this? Can't put the fuel in the syringe. What can I reach that I couldn't reach before? What could I reach that I couldn't reach before? Yes, suck up the ashes. Nope. Well, it's not going to help me burn it. I've got a stick and a syringe. Can I turn this thing off? No. Antifreeze pipe, that's the starting fluid piping. There's uh, something I can do with that. Oh, wait, what? Wait, wh what did you stick it into? There's a hole to just put a syringe in? Uh, okay. Here we go. Excellent. Okay. Hmm, can I take these tools? Good. Might come in handy. What do I have? Wrench, that's it. Alright, I don't know if he can actually shoot me, so I'm going to save it. Let's go to the lobby. Alistair will shoot me, I need a way to distract and then disarm him. Alright, I'm guessing that's where the pole comes in handy. Or something like that. Gasoline? Nope. Hmm. Well, none of the machinery in here is going to work because the fuse is out. Oh, apparently I can't even leave the room. All right. Anything up there? Oh, apparently there's something up there I can grab. I'll hide up there. Okay, so now I need to get his attention and then disarm him, right? Throw the wrench. Throw it at the door. 
I don't know. Can't just like throw it at the ground and he'll hear it? What could I do with the pole? Nothing from here. Hmm. Not sure what to do, but I'm stuck in this room, so it can't be too hard to figure out. Can I just, like, throw it at the... No. I just need to make a noise and he should be able to hear it, right? Hmm. Break the glass? No, why would you want to break the glass, actually? You might just freeze to death in here. Plus, it's probably really damn strong. Distract and then disarm him. Distract and then disarm him. Hmm. What the hell am I missing? I mean, I'm guessing maybe the wrench is used... Well, it could be used to distract him, obviously, but it seems like you can't. But I'm guessing it's used to throw at him to disarm him? From up above, maybe? I don't know, go back up there. Can I, like, push a box down? Make a racket? Nope. What the hell do I do? Come on, it can't be this hard. I've got like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight hotspots, one room, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven items. There's only so many ways you can combine them. I mean, it could be something from outside. Like, can, wait, can I go back? No, I can't even go back. So it's definitely not an item from the outside that I need. What the hell? Okay, walk through time, I guess. Didn't think I'd have to use a walkthrough for this. What am I missing? Is <laughs> There's not much that can go wrong here. Alright, get the power back on, out in the cold. Uh-huh, enter through the hatch. Antifreeze. Antifreeze, enter through hatch. Disarm. Go to the shelf right of the big garage door. It has tools, take a wrench from the shelf, done. He hides behind the crates at the top. Bring Alistair here by throwing the wrench on the glass window above the garage door. What? Are you serious? I have to throw it at the window, huh? I couldn't, like, throw it at the door. Okay. What the fuck are you shooting at? I know at? your schemes, Knutson. Try to fucking come in and I'll kill you. Like a ninja. A ninja in crampons and a winter jacket. Oh shit, did you just step on him with crampons? Holy crap. Oh. Oh. Ow. I murdered him. You didn't murder him, you killed him because he was trying to kill you. That's called self-defense. Revolver, large caliber handgun, I will take that. I'd have to use it against Al. Okay. Nova. Al. Are you dragging her from the laboratory? Oh god, there's blood on the ground. 
fuse. Fuse. So he took the fuse out. Huh. Crumpled paper. Al must have left it. Symbols from the hide. Al must have dropped this. Okay, what is this? Yeah, East Island Tribe. Shaman Throne. Boreas Wendigo. Wait, I don't know what these mean. Okay, hold on. Alright, gotta do some more translating. Hopefully this time I don't need the walkthrough. Chances of that. Um, low. East Island Tribe. I have the... Sh this is the Shaman, right? Throne. Boreas. Yeah, this is the Shaman. Shaman. Throne. Boreas. Wendigo. What do these two symbols mean? Have I seen them before? We've got like a human-shaped one, an inverted Wendigo character, a hole in the middle. Oh, oh, wait, 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 I know this one. Something has a frozen heart, is it Ashton? Um, here. Frozen heart. Frozen heart. Where is it? Uh, the Wittigo is a primitive in a world that perceives the coming of their pantheon. It is said to be skeletal and deformed and to be missing extremities. In some legends, it has a frozen heart and glowing red eyes. So is it the Wittigo? But isn't that already on here? Inverted Wendigo. Could it be Ashton? Ash... Where is it? Ashton? No. Possession? No. Alright, what is this symbol? Do I have it? I do not have it. And the bones are gone. God damn it. It's not saying I need to actually solve it right now, though, so maybe I don't need to? But still, I want to. Story-wise, it doesn't make any sense, because I should be trying to find Nova, but I do really want to solve it. Oh, what is this one? Interlocking V-shapes. Interlocking V-shapes. Heart? Oh! Okay, I was, I was being too broad. It's not the Wendigo, it's the frozen heart of the Wendigo. It's a human, a human heart. So what is this one? If that's the heart, then what's the next one? Frozen heart, glowing red eyes. Hmm. Glowing red eyes is the other part of this. Doesn't look like eyes though, maybe? Cannibalism? Possession? I think I already did that for this one. No. That's a heart. East Island Tribe, which practices cannibalism. Shaman, Throne, Boreas, Wendigo, Summon to Wendigo. Human Heart. Or actually... I think it said Human Heart before, but now it just says Heart. What is that? I don't know. Singular hatred towards humanity that stems from actions of humans. Uh, trapped. Dancing. Hatred. Mm. I don't know. I have no idea. Could that be the crevasse? 
Oh shit, it is. It's gotta be a cave or a crevasse. Damn. Crevasse, heart, the last or first symbols. A human sacrifice. That's my question. Well, I guess she's at the crevasse, right? Oh, I have to actually figure out where she is? Okay, interesting. So what do we have? The crevasse. We have a human heart. Shaman. Throne. Boreas. Windigo. East Island. Well, I'd say the crevasse, right? Al cannot have taken her back to the crevasse. Why? Um... Hold on, there's a name of an island. Web? Web? Uh, something like, wasn't a web? Where is it? The Web Island, northeast from the mainland in the ancient times. But how could he have taken her there? Do we even have a boat? I mean, are we even near there? Web Island? I don't think so either. Let's uh, search the rest of the base. No, that's pointless. Oh, what about the blood back here? Is there an examine that thing? Oh no, it's fuse. Alright, let's see how uh, Tully's doing. Someone uncovered him? Holy shit, his hands have been cut off. The fuck, is Owl possessed? Ugh. Hold on, let me... Let me check the rooms. Crumpled paper, is that another note? Oh no, that's the same one. I'm sure she's not in her room. Or my room. Or the spare room. Can't even use it. Oh wait, never mind. Yes, I can. Or wait, no, that's plaque? It's empty. Huh? Hmm. Kitchen? Where the hell did he take her? Radiator's warm. Alright. What if I just go outside? Like, can I see his tracks? Oh, well, snowmobiles here. No. Okay. It's gotta be in those two articles. Crevasse, 
Heart. Human heart. Shaman. Laborious? I mean, it's right in there. No. I need location. It needs to be locations. I already did the web island. Hold on, let me just make sure it's not a word thing. Maybe I don't need to type web island, but just web? Nope. Alright, I need locations. Has to be a place. Some visions, giants. Reading this super fast, looking for locations. The Nashi went back to the remote waste far north. That's not really a location. Myth. Stationed in Thule, who discovered a man made. Thule? Maybe? Nope. No, it's not in that article. Okay. I mean, it's got to be somewhere nearby, right? For me to be able to travel to it, I need to be able to go to it with the snowmobile, I would think. Mm-hmm. Towards humanity. Bitterly lonely creature trapped in the Boreas, a region of remote icy fells behind the northern lights. I already typed in Boreas, that didn't work. In primitive times, the tribes of Greenland... Yep, yep, yep. I don't... I don't understand. I don't see any location here that I haven't already used. This is Alcanon, I've taken her back to the crevasse. Why not? North? Inuit. <laughs> Didn't think so. I mean, where else is there? I think I already typed in East Island. I have no idea. Back to the truck? Oh, walk through time. <laughs> what am I missing? I mean... There's a list of, like, the different sites here, but I can't... It's not a hotspot anymore, so that's not what I'm supposed to do. And I don't think I have access to my computer anymore, do I? To access maps of any sort? Is it here? Oh, wait, 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 the computer's... Oh, I can't even use it. Alright. Alright, looking at this. Where is Nova? Check the blueprint of the station. See that... Wait a minute. Oh, it's like within the building, they mean? Well, according to this walkthrough, it's supposed to be within the building. Wait a minute. The blueprint is relevant, apparently. I didn't know they meant that close. But wait, where can I go that I haven't already gone? Are you telling me there's places on the blueprint that aren't actually accessible to me? Hold on. It just said something about the blueprint and then I stopped reading the walkthrough because I want to figure it out for myself. Okay, B2. Alright, hold on. Which one did he remove? He removed whatever... Uh, we gotta go outside. A fuse has something to do with it, I think. Alright. 
B2 is missing, but it does not seem to be the generator fuse. It's for the machinery inside. Oh no, so it's not for the machinery inside of the garage. It's just for the machinery inside of wherever B2 is. Well, in that case, is that where he's at? B2? I think that was the water pump? No. Oh, maybe it's water pump instead of the... Oh, there we go. The, moder uh, the water melting well. This is the only place I can think of. I remember Tully telling me there's a radiator and a pump down there. Okay, but why would he remove the fuse to the one place that he wanted to go? And why would they put a place on the map that I can't actually access myself until I type it into this message? Like, what? Uh, okay, how do I go there? Where's B2? B2. B1 is storage. A2 is lobby. Wait, A1 is laboratory. A2 is lobby. Wait, where exactly is that? That's the water pump. I mean, like, d down here? Like, this? This isn't the water pump. Wait, pump lid. Oh, sh shit. The melting assembly is below. Wait, is this like a pathway and you go down? Can't lift with my bare hands. That doesn't work. Well, why, why can't you lift it? Oh, I think I need a hook. There we go. Okay. They should have established this location before. You don't have to necessarily make it so you go down there, but at least establish it as a place. Oh, there's Nova. Oh, and he's doing some crazy sacrifice. Holy shit, dude, what are you doing? Uh... Ow. Yeah. I know what you're trying to do. I figured you'd understand sooner or later. That's why I had to come down here yesterday. In my dream, I saw behind the veil of the sky. I saw the truth. All I see here is murder and wickedness. The Wendigo has put you under its spell. It stems from the wickedness of the modern world. We raped the Arctic and offered nothing in return, like the Tunajik did. That's why he spoke to me. He chose me. Me, an oil company prospector. What a sense of irony. That idol is a collection of cannibalized and murdered bodies. How can you say it will save the Arctic? He'll take form through them. After the last rite, he'll cross the veil of the sky and walk on the earth once again. All that's missing is a heart. No! I'm taking Nova with me right now. Think of what you're doing. This is your chance to save the polar bears. You're talking about murdering people, you sick fuck! Oh Get shit! Back. Do I actually need to do something? Uh, oh, good, I don't. Very well. You'll have my heart. You wanna follow that thing to hell? I'm just a vessel. Is he about to cut out his own heart? Okay. Ugh. I have no idea what he just did, but it apparently, like, broke the ice and then they fell into the water? Okay. Wow. 
Are you ready? In a minute. I just need to say goodbye to this place. You know, Thule's hundreds of miles away. Yeah, a lot can happen on the way there. And there's the end. <laughs> Can you imagine trying to explain that to whoever they're going to explain it to? So yeah, we're at this research station and everyone kind of died and there was like an ancient spirit and we killed a bunch of people and this guy cut his heart out and yeah. So yeah, that didn't go so well. <laughs> like seriously, they're, they're screwed. No one's going to believe them. I mean, I guess they still have the crevasse, so that's at least some help, but still, good luck. Okay, well, that was, that was a pretty damn good game, despite the frustrations I had with it. Um... Sorry, I was distracted by the music in the credits. Yeah, that was a pretty damn good game. The biggest problem, as you probably noticed, is it has, unfortunately, as almost all adventure games seem to have, it's got a nice, healthy dose of stupid adventure game puzzle syndrome. In fact, I really can't think of any adventure game ever that hasn't had that. I'm trying to think. Yeah, not really that I can think of. Not off the top of my head. Actually, no, scratch that. Dreamfall. Yeah, Dreamfall actually didn't really have... Uh, it, it had a little bit, but it didn't have much of a ad stupid adventure game puzzle problem. But yeah, stupid adventure game puzzles are unfortunately very, very, very frequent amongst adventure games, and that was no exception here. They're pretty frustrating, but as always, when I play an adventure game, I just keep a walkthrough handy. And I'm not afraid to use it, because it really improves my experience with games. With adventure games, anyway. I used to be really hesitant about using them, because I thought, you know, it ruined the fun of the game, but then I realized it's not ruining the fun. Not using it is ruining the fun. Why is it a black screen? Is there anything playing? Nope, it's just a black screen. Okay. I'm currently recording a black screen. Don't know why it's stuck on that, but anyway. Pretty damn good game. Biggest problem, stu stupid adventure game puzzles. But there's a ton of good. It's got great art. It's got a... It's got a pretty interesting story. Like, I like the creepy... The creepy twist it's got to it. You know, it's not just a pure adventure game. It's not pure horror. It's kind of like a cross between an adventure and a horror game. Hence, I guess, why it's called an adventure horror. So it's got a nice little twist of evil and horror in there, which I like wasn't particularly creepy, for the most part. I wish it was a bit creepier and a bit more disturbing, actually. But still, I like the story. Um, in general, it's got really good voice acting. Ranging from either pretty good to very good. I think, like, Nova and Rune are probably the highlights. Everyone else was pretty good. And... I don't think there's anything else I can think of to mention. I think that's pretty much it, yeah. Good story, good voice acting, really good art. I enjoyed it, despite the horrible puzzles that it had. Not all of them were horrible, some of them were fine, but a lot were horrible. So there you go, there has been an obscure adventure game that almost completely passed me by. If it weren't for that vague memory I had of reading about it years ago, I probably never would have heard it heard of it again. 
And, I mean, it's not even on Steam or GOG or anything like that, so... It, it's probably going to get even more obscure than it is now, and it's only two years after it came out. So that's unfortunate. I, this deserves to be on Steam. It should be out there more. It's a really solid adventure game. So, that's been my playthrough of Alpha Polaris. I hope you've enjoyed my frustrations, my terrible ability to translate symbols, my constant mispronunciation of every vaguely foreign name. And that's it. Goodbye.